Yeah. Hi, my name is Damien. Welcome to Music Lesson 2011. Uh, I'd like to spend just a little bit of time just showing you our Euclidus and how it controls Pro Tools. As you can see, as a controller, we have 16 faders which are talking directly via Ethernet to our workstation. And as you can see, we can do the basic functionality of controlling faders and pan pots. Obviously, we want to be able to access further options within Pro Tools, things like sends and plugins. This is done very easily. We have some quick access buttons on the top, send, send A to send D. If I press send A, the V pots and the display changes, telling me we're now in send A mode. I can now go into a sign. Display changes again, and it's ready for me to change or add an assignment. So on send A, if I start turning the dial on this channel, I can now see on the display the various different buses. So if I want to choose one, I just press the V-Pot and it then gets added to the channel on Pro Tools. Now if we want all of our tracks to have the same send, I can just option, press the bus and there we go, it's added. Once that's been assigned, the V-Pots are now level controllers and we can tell this by the display. And if I turn, the V-Port shows a level increase. If we open up the level with the Pro Tools, we can see that this is controlling that. Now obviously, we're going to do lots of automation of these sends on different parts of the song, so we can flip the controls from the V-Pot to the fader and do it straight from here. Now say we want to put this track into automation mode. Well, we have an auto button, which I press. The display changes, showing me the various automation modes. I select the track, put it into right mode. Pro Tools is updated, the mixer shows me I'm in automation, and that's it. Again, if I want all the tracks to be in the same automation mode, I can press Option, Right, and that's it. The whole point of this product is to get away from the mouse and keyboard and to be, do, to be able to do everything directly from the nucleus itself. Plugins work in the same way. We have a parameter button. So if I press this, the whole display changes again. So what I can do is select a channel. The display change shows me that there's already a plugin on this channel, which we can see via the mixer. And we can see the empty slots. Now, either I want to open this plugin or assign. So first of all, let's go into the plugin. So pressing the parameter page, I can now see the various options. And I've made a quick access button here, plugin. So by pressing it, it opens up the plugin in Pro Tools, and I can now control the parameters. With the plugin where there are multiple parameters, we use the page button to scroll through, and we can access everything from here. Now to actually add a plugin, let's go back a page and go into a sign mode. The display changes here. So now I can turn the viewport and I can start seeing the list of plugins I have inside Pro Tools. When I find what I want to use, I assign it. And there we go, the plugins are now there. All without a mouse or a keyboard. Now we can do some other clever things as well. If I go to the edit page, uh, I've made some quick access buttons here. So here's my mix and edit window. The whole area here is everything's customizable. With our products, you know, instead of you having to change your workflow to it, it follows you. You tell it what you need, what shortcuts you want to program, and I'll show you in a second how we do this. Here's my jog wheel, and obviously it's controlling the timeline in Pro Tools. And what I can do is I can move up and down, and I can say, for example, let's pick this little bit here. I really like this and I want to copy it. So by pressing Shift and Alt, I can then use the jog wheel to select an area within Pro Tools. Then I can go Shift and Down, and that selects that area. Maybe I, I need to trim a little bit from the front and back. Well, I can use the Alt and go one way. Or I can use the Option and go the other way. Or move. Once I've got the area selected, I can go to my user one layer, and this is my first set of customized buttons. And I've created an edit menu, and I've programmed cut, copy, paste, or separate. I'm just going to copy, which I press, and this sends a USB keyboard command to bind the nucleus to Pro Tools. 
now this is copied, I can take the jog wheel and just paste it wherever I want. Then I can paste it. Nice and easy. Now, that's a, just very quickly some editing. Let's look at markers. So, again, with my cursor key, let's go to the start of this section. Press the Enter key, and it opens the memory location. Now, I want to name this. This is going to be the verse. But I'm going to do this without touching the keyboard. So what I've done is I've programmed a menu on my user tool called Names. By pressing the menu, sorry, location names, I've now got intro, verse, chorus, mid-8, outro. So if I press verse, what's going to happen? It's going to type verse in the memory locator, and then I can move across. Let's do it again. Enter chorus. Enter verse. And it's that easy. Um, we can also do this with track names. If I double select a track, it opens up the name dialog. And again, I've programmed the list of names. So this is going to be a base. And it's renamed the track for me. It's all from here without the need of a mouse or a keyboard. And this only scratches the surface of what you can do. We all have our favorite keyboard commands, our strokes. Well, you can program them so this works the way you need to. Uh, please feel free to uh, check out uh, the Nucleus at your local dealer. Uh, thank you very much for your time.